We shared on last week's Queer Money bonus episode that the queer community is stressed about its finances. So we dug deeper into the data of the Motley Fool Debt Free Guys LGBTQ Plus Money Study to figure out what exactly the community is most focused on when it comes to our money. And one priority and one concern clearly stood out to us. And that's what we're sharing on Queer Money episode 363 today. So let's get on with the show. Last week, we shared how two out of every three LGBTQ folks stress about money at least once a week. What's stressing us out? Well, inflation and outliving our money are two leading causes. Right. Most respondents to the Motley Fool Jeffrey Guy's LGBTQ plus money study said that making enough money to live on was their biggest financial concern. And keeping up with the cost of living was their biggest financial priority. So we've got two solutions to help you better with both of these. All right. So the first one, and again, similar to last week's episode, we're going to focus on basics here because basics will fix the majority of our financial woes. So the first one here is to increase your income. Many people would say, well, duh. But the reality <laughs> is that even with Scott sky high inflation right now, there's never been a better time to increase or diversify your income. With job openings uh, so prevalent today, there's actually two job openings for every person applying right now. Um, hiring managers are even being more flexible with their hiring criteria. As a matter of fact, we recently heard and, and read in an article that many hiring managers are now starting to withdraw the requirement to have a college degree. Yeah, that's surprising. So keep up with the cost of living by updating your resume, uh, updating your LinkedIn profile, and looking for a higher paying job. And repeat this cycle every two to four years. You don't want to stay in uh, one particular job too long. Uh, one of the strategies that people have exercised to increase their income is to bounce around. Um, your company's not really uh, beholden to you, so don't be holding be beholden to your company. <laughs> right. <laughs> Secondly here, reassess what you think is necessary to quote unquote, keep up, right? Who are you trying to keep up with? Many of us may have become accustomed to a lifestyle that we grew up with, or maybe we had during school or like John and I felt we many of us feel pressured to have a certain lifestyle based on the community or circle of friends that we have. It's okay, 100% okay to live the lifestyle that fits your income. So if your friends can't deal with that or your family can't deal with that, they're not really your friends. And you may want to question some of the motives of your family. Right. Bye. <laughs> See you next Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hitting both of these at the same time is a surefire way to keep up with both the cost of living and put towards alleviating financial stress through building an emergency savings account, paying off debt, investing in the future, whatever it is that you need to do to decrease your financial anxiety. So stay tuned for your queer money takeaway from this episode. Thank you for listening to another episode. Here's your queer money takeaway. Make the commitment. As the last episode of the year, and as much as the data from the Motley Fool Debt Free Guys LGBTQ Plus Money Study suggests, many LGBT folks aren't in the best financial position or could be in a better one. Make this next year the year that you finally get on a solid financial foundation. As we mentioned in this episode, focus on two things. One, figure out how you can earn money, especially by taking advantage of the opportunity you have right now to switch jobs or switch companies, because we know 60% of people who switch jobs make more money. Secondly, it's okay. And remember to live a lifestyle that you can actually afford. As the quote goes, a year from now, you'll wish you had started today. So make the commitment and follow through with it. Then join us next year as we dive into the eighth calendar year of the Queer Money Podcast. Can you believe that? <laughs> We're planning on having more exciting guests and way more helpful information than ever. So let us know in the Queer Money Facebook group or by emailing us at questions at debtfreeguys.com if there are any guests you'd like us to interview or topics you'd like us to cover. We make the Queer Money Podcast for you. So with that, have a happy new year. 